most importantly, thank you for visiting. Uh, gosh, I don't know where to begin. I discovered something very interesting. It's actually pretty freaking awesome. And um, I, I also want to make an additional comment verbally here on camera, even though I'm behind the camera, uh, that I've been playing and goofing around uh, with Magnus cause and effect since I was a kid. I never stopped. I've been doing it ever since. But I took a long break from it. The part that I want to fess up to here, which is interesting about me, who I am personally, as far as the, the, um, the, the, the kind of thinking that I have, the thinking ability, is that in my younger years, I, along with uh, three other gentlemen, achieved the highest national test scores for IQ four years in a row. However, I'm the only one of the four who achieved the highest mechanical reasoning test of that score. So what we have here is that we have what? Mechanical reasoning challenge. When I originally was uh, brought, it was brought to my attention, the challenge about making magnets, power magnets to create continuous motion, the moment that I understood the, the question and the challenge, I literally, in less than a minute, had the answer. I, I mean, I realized what needed to be done. So I marched right upstairs, put together the stator that I have today, and under an hour, I had it working. So I just want to let you know, I really believe that I can solve this. But everybody else who's got their nose in their physics books, uh, you get teachers, experts, everybody else says, Man can never fly. Man can never go to the moon. Okay, believe what you want to believe, but you might want to look out your front door. There are airplanes flying over top of your house. And if you look a little bit more carefully, there are rocket ships taking off the Earth going into space too. Okay, I'm going to do something kind of fun here. This is interesting here. But before I open these up, check this out. Just because I have a good head on my shoulders, by no means, means that I am smart, per se. I believe that everybody, and I mean everybody, is equally is as smart as the next person. Rather, we simply excel in our own areas of understanding. You might be a brain surgeon, and I don't have a clue. It doesn't mean I'm dumb. I may be a rocket scientist, and you don't have a clue, even though you're a brain surgeon. That doesn't mean the brain surgeon is dumb. Same goes with other areas of knowledge. Each of us has our own area of understanding that we really excel in. So just because I might excel in this, doesn't mean, it just because you don't understand this, doesn't mean you're dumb. It might mean you're ignorant. Ignorant means you don't know enough yet. You need to understand what ignorance means. It's like people are ignorant how car engines work. But as soon as they take a course and learn how a combustion engine works, hey, guess what? they're no longer ignorant about how a car engine works. Whereas dumb, you can't fix dumb. Unfortunately, sometimes people have something wrong with the brain function and they, they can never grasp anything. It's not their fault. They can study until the cows come home. They can never understand. It's not their fault. So we should never, ever pick on them, call them names, never put them down. Just understand that there's something not quite right about the brain that they were given. And it's not doing what the brain normally does like we have for the rest of us. So, with that said, check this out. Um, okay, uh, I took all the magnets off here because it was interfering with this little test here. Let's see if I got this right. Flip this over. Okay. And yes, I'm going to hold this magnet by hand. and I'm not going to fasten it down. But watch, nonetheless. Let's do it in this direction here. Uh, Let's see here, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Coming this way. Hmm. Look at that, would you? Nah. This couldn't be possible, could it? Nah, this is an illusion. This isn't really happening, is it? Nah. There's no way this could happen. All the people with their noses in their... This is getting tight here. It just froze up. All the people with their noses in the physics book says this couldn't be possible. 
The little clo closer I get, the more acceleration I get. What it is, I've got this tilted like this, so it gets this, and then weaker, it gets weaker as it comes up here. So it doesn't have as much counter pull. Okay, let me get a little bit more momentum. Look at how Mother Hodger go. Now, I'm sorry, what was some of you saying? We will never fly, man will never go to the moon, man will never build rocket ships. Uh, and man will never figure out how to make magnets do work with other magnets. Oops, I almost lost this. I got to hold this tight. Wheel just froze up again. Uh, anyway, you just saw it. Is it going to go the other? I'll, I'll turn this this way this time. And let's see what happens. I don't believe it will work as well. Oh, I could be wrong. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's right. Physics book says that this is not possible. Oh, that's right. This couldn't be happening, could it? Nah, what you're all seeing is absolute illusion. Gee, is there anything underneath the table here that I'm using to make this work? These boxes are just empty boxes. These are just crap shit in here. There ain't nothing in these boxes. Ugh, stuff I have to let unpack for moving. It's just crap in there. And this is just a tackle box. It's full of fishing gear. Anyway, put this back up on the stand. Oh, let me angle this now the other way. So we have it this way. So this way is the strongest part. And then as the magnet leaves, am I doing this right to the camera? Okay, so as the as the the magnets go underneath, then this gets further away, so there's less counter pull when the magnets pass. So let's try it this way now. Hold this tight. And that wheel just locked up again. I will be doing away with this metal wheel. Boy, look at that acceleration. Look at the kick out. Man, that kick out is sweet. It's got enough kick out to make it all the way around. So can you imagine what it'll be like if I have another one of these here, here, and there? I will be ordering some of these. Okay, so, and that's what's achievable without using any uh, shielded. Alrighty, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you again for your time. And again, for all of you who have donated, uh, if you didn't see my thank you in the other video, I'm thanking you in this video. Thank you, thank you, and most importantly, thank you. Take care.